everyone, it's Sarah. Welcome back to Colorful Creations. I'm gonna do a painting for you today on a 20 by 24 gallery wrapped canvas. Cal <laughs> I can't speak today. A 20 by 24 gallery wrapped canvas. So I have it here sitting on cups to support it. I'm gonna do another marble, a marble pour today with a golf ball like I like to do. This is pretty messed up from previous ones. It's dry so it's okay. I'm using I'm using this bright green and a purple magenta like a rose color that I, I mix this myself. Um, these are all actually leftover mixed up um, previously. This is I'm trying to remember I believe this is magenta with some red added to it red and white added to it so it's like a like a rose color like a lighter one in between. So we have the magenta that one and uh, purple green and white. So I'm going to cover the whole thing in green first. This is a nice bright green. Um, these are mixed how I always mix them. They're pretty thick. Um, if I mix them in like a, a red solo cup. Four ounces of glue, four ounces of paint, four ounces of Floetrol, two ounces of Liquidex Pore Medium, and a little bit of water to thin it down. I don't, actually I do have some in the cup right here. It's not any of the colors I'm using, but I can show you. So um, when you let it drizzle in like that, there's definitely a mound that's left. So it's a little thicker, but like, you know, if I was doing a, a Dutch pour, I would thin that out a lot more than that. But this is, this is good. This is how I do a ring pour or how I flip the cup or most things, most things I do with this, this texture. All right, so I'm gonna cover the whole thing in green and spread it out. I will speed this up so you don't have to watch this whole thing. So I know I just finished telling you these are all mixed up previously. They were, the colors were, I, I actually just mixed up the green a few minutes ago. I forgot about that. The green and the white. So there is bubbles in the greens. That's why I had to torch that so much. The other colors should be better, but I, I will torch the whole thing again just to be sure. I don't want stuff popping up. That's, you don't need that to happen. So I'm gonna do some puddles. Um, I think I'll do mm, six at least and then I'll roll the golf ball through it. And I'm kind of wanting a more of a floral, de a floral design, so I'm gonna to try to do the whole thing and, and not tilt it at all in the end. Just just only have the, what the golf ball does. So I'm gonna put some extra along the sides. So we're gonna make sure those are good and covered. And hopefully this works. I want to have some green left along the edge, so I'm trying to decide if I want to add any more. Like I, I don't want it to be too much green.
Now I'm just wondering what to do with my edges. I didn't want to tilt this. I got a couple spots here that are looking fair. I think. So I really like how there's, it's like, it kind of even, you got, you got swirlies around the outside and like this in the middle and lots of color showing. There's lots of negative space. It's not too like, too marbled, I guess. I think, um, so it's a little bit more green. I think what I'm gonna do is blow these edges out a little bit with my, with my uh, airbrush, if it's charged. All right, so I'm just gonna use this and blow up my edges. There's no paint in it or anything. It's just, I'm just using the air from it. It's gonna be hard to blow this because it's pretty thick paint. I'm just making sure there's lots of the green around the outside is pretty thick. There's like lots of paint, so it will flow easier. All right, let's give this a try. All right, this is pretty different looking. <laughs> I think I'm gonna leave it there. It's, the colors are really pretty. Let's bring it on and have a look. All right, so it definitely gives it a different look with the with blowing over the edges. Very different. Let me know what you think. I really wanted to try this and now I have. I really like the colors and the way it goes together. Uh, let me know what you think about the edges being blown out or if you think I should have done something different or maybe different colors. I really wanted to try it without tilting it because I like the design. Like I like this, how everything's really, you know, curvy, I guess. It's more, more rounded. When you when you tilt it, it kind of makes some edges a little more triangle, I think. So I'm gonna let this dry, and then I can get it up on a wall, and then I can show you, and then we can see what the colors really look like. All right, here it is. It dried absolutely perfect. There's nothing on this, no resin, burnish, or anything. It's just just dried. It, it dried perfect, so vibrant. You see all the colors, nothing was lost. I absolutely love it. These colors just work. I love those purples and green together. What do you think? Tell me what you think of 
the whole thing. I don't know the colors, the the flow, the design, and the blown out edges. I know it was really different. I really wanted to try it, and I am really happy with it. This will be on my website if you want to purchase it. It'll be there. I'll have a link in the description. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Oh,